We'll have no f around and absolutely no funny business. We're going to wait our turn and maintain our manners at all times, or this game's over before it's even begun. Frank, let's have you do the honours. Age before for you, Eddie. Let's get some fights made. I haven't got all night. Chop, chop, Frankie. Off you go. Chop, chop, indeed. That's a cleaver swing, and there's a killer behind it. He's enjoying his first Friday as a butcher. When two guys come in to collect, as they always do, where's our money they demand from his boss? That butcher here doesn't take too kindly to the noise. He calmly asks, can I help you? Before they can respond, crash. Bang. And a wobble. They wake up on the pavement the next morning. Nice sausages, though. Cute. What a lovely bedtime story. Flip it, sweetheart. What's your f mouth? The jeweler. This kid's a proper diamond. Rocks, chains, watches. Knock, knock. Who's there? Three blokes come crashing through the door. Lost property's closed on a Monday, boys. He's smart, but some people just can't take no for an answer. I don't think this is yours, they say. The front man throws a punch. My man slips it. Bang! He pops the next man's nose like a bloody balloon. He's broken my nose. He goes, bang! And it's outside, and a quick way down for the challenger. Let's see what you're packing, Eddie. Picture this. You got yourself into one of the most dangerous man's houses in the East End. You're browsing his gallery for your nan's next wall piece. Looked after his nan. Oh. When you come face to face with a colourful character in yourself and his lovely sawn off shotgun, you slip the first shot. Leave him with a shiner to remember you by. That's another one for his nan's collection. They say if you love what you do, You'll never have to work another day in your life. He's never had a CV. Just a fist. So he got a job as a door. And like the saying goes, if you can't take the heat, then why are you even in the kitchen? Talking about kitchens, this man is a cook. And he doesn't take customer feedback too well either. That's not the way I like it. Get back in there and make me an up. Customer says, Wallop. Now that's one way to enjoy a haggis. It's the ones that work in the shadows are the ones you want to look out for. He shouts at my lad, get over here and clean this blood off the canvas. My lad steps inside the ring. Where's your mop? He says, he cleaned the floor with him. Night, night. I can always respect a man that takes out the rubbish. <laughs> <coughs> this lot in the same room is going to be trouble. Come on, then. This man's an artist. My lad's a perfectionist, a visionary, fists like cast iron. His boss comes over. What's taking you so long? I'm thinking, he says. Next minute, it's bang. Now, houses aren't this man's forte. He likes fixing cars and breaking jaws. If you happen to find your way into this man's garage looking for trouble, saying things like, should I trash the place? Should I burn the place? You're generally leaving toothless, I'm afraid. Last two cards, gents. Your. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear tyres and ride double-deckers. So when someone disrupts his peaceful commute, crash, his head through the window. This man's been behind the wheel all day. What does he see? Some and having some old girl's handbag. He hammers his foot to the pedal. He steps out of the taxi to finish the job right there on the pavement. She even tipped him a fiver. June the 1st, make sure your mother there. Troops assemble. Shake hands, boys. Let's have a fair fight. Up off, man! Yeah! Yes! 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 Up off!
Va. <laughs> Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what day is, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's Taco Tuesday. Hey, baby, baby. What's up, my people? This is show biz, uh, don't. All right, man, look. Look. Look at who we have here. Let me see. Somebody gifted something. Let me see. Jake. Jake. Huh? Huh? Jake, oh you mother, <laughs> my man gifted twenty uh uh showbiz adult memberships. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Let me give you your love. Let me give you your love on this Taco Tuesday. Where we at? Where we at? We gonna do this. Right. Yeah. on with you let me see 50 50 he said love the movie promos for the fight what's going on with you oops all right man look first first i want to say this ah! welcome to the taco tuesday everybody if you haven't done it please close out the chat hit the like and give it up for the Varnell Hill Fight. Hit the Tyson bell. <laughs> Hold on. My man, Jumbie, uh, too. Yeah, he says, show me as the face of YouTube boxing. Boom! Hit the Tyson bell. Hold on, brother. Everybody, we this is one hell of a day this Taco Tuesday. We got a lot to talk about. Hold on. Ladies! <laughs> Hold on. Let me see what my man have to say. The morning after. Look! Oh, uh, let me see. LOL, Devin on that. <laughs> Uh, gotta love it. Brother, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. And that's the black Dosh Orgas. Cups empty, dog. Hit the Tyson Bell. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Everybody's still pulling up. Y'all still pulling up? Because we got stuff to say. Let me see. Why did the brothers have to be the guard dog and the help? I don't know what you're talking about, my brother. I, I don't know. Hit the Tyson Bell. Let's talk. Listen, listen, bro. <laughs> listen. Uh oh, a member for 32 months. Thank you so much. What? Huh? Hear me out. First of all, y'all love that promo? The five versus five. Listen, Turk El Sheik, the face of boxing, hit the Tyson Bell. One hell of a promo had a little snatch inspiration to it, didn't it? That 5v5 is going to be lit June 1st. Can't wait to watch it. Can't wait to discuss it. Can't wait to talk about it. We'll be talking about that a little bit later in the show. Uh, let me see. The zone and mushroom looking right. Hell yeah. They look like they trying to take the lead. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hit the Tyson Bell. Look, but first, bruh, I was going to do a show asking if Ryan Garcia is really scared. With all of his antics, because I haven't asked this before. I know you guys probably have. I haven't asked yet. And I wanted to know if he was scared until I saw the slap. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Breaking news. That stuff just happened five minutes ago. I had to rewrite my entire show in my head. This whole thing happened five minutes ago. The slap her around the world. It was like a muff. And Ryan Garcia responded like the Joker or, or a dog or so, either the, a dog or a Joker, right? <laughs> that dude, <laughs> it's, I, I'll show you because we got the receipts. I said, okay, he's not scared. He's crazy. <laughs> right? Remember when Muhammad Ali was fighting Sonny Liston and they wanted to know if he was afraid, so they checked his pulse. And, oh, he must be talking like that because he's afraid. No, nah, that brother's crazy. <laughs> right? Ryan Garcia is out of his damn mind. Oh, that's what it is. 
Devin Haney was is real serious about his shit, though. Let me see, Matt. Ryan was acting like he had uh, some of Oscar's stash doing that Devin face. Something was wrong. His lips got dry and shit. <laughs> I was foaming at the mouth. No, Daddy. Uh, let me see. Uh, what hand Lenares catch uh, Devin with? I think it was the straight right. I think it was a combination. And I think... I think it was a straight right. I, I I can't really recall right now. Let me see. See Motivedia, uh, use your clip. Show biz is boxing. Motivedia, listen. Though that squad over there, my man's the goat. He is the goat. If you want to know what's going on with box of, of documentaries and hyping of fighting promos, the guy's the goat. Shout out to Motivedia. That guy's the goat. All right. But look, look, and I think he showed me, like, uh, this may be his third time. So much love to him. You know, love you, boy. Absolutely. A, a brother of mine at this point. Uh, Ryan wins by KO. Go to my bookie. Everybody, go to my bookie. I win $15,000 damn dollars if Ryan Garcia wins. I should put money on the KO today. What y'all think? I may put money on Devin Haney KO, though, <laughs> just, just to give me a <laughs> – just give me a safety net. I may put money on Haney. <laughs> KO and Ryan. But listen, let me show you guys the receipts of what we're talking about just in case you missed. I know my mama's like, what? <laughs> my mama, it, mama, it was five minutes ago. I know my mom's like, what? Who slapped what? <laughs> receipts, mother <laughs> Here's the receipts. From two different angles. Let's go. Hey, I don't even need him. You're going to get killed on April 20th. Give all that disrespect. Watch. You can't stop it now. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah, Miss Garcia, you can't stop it now. That was good. That was fun. Okay, he's gonna get real. Okay, he's gonna get real. Wait, he's gonna get real. He pushed him. He pushed him. He already got him. Yeah, yeah, he already pushed him. Talk to him, Ryan. Good. Talk to him. Hey, you see, I took that. Hey, Ryan, I ate that. Hey, Ryan, I ate that. I ate that, bitch. Yeah, bitch. I ate that. I ate that. Ah, I ate that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stop doing cocaine, you bitch. It got real. Yeah, it got real. It got real. It got real. Yeah, it got real. Yeah, it got real. The worst than that gonna happen to you on April 20th. Yeah, and Oscar can't say. And Oscar can't say. Worse than that. Yeah, yeah, you took it. And you're gonna eat a lot more before you. Hey, listen, you gonna hit that canvas, boy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you out of boxing. That's right. Ryan, you ain't ready. I told you we ready. He ain't ready. Y'all hear y'all hear Haney? Haney was like, I told you it was a bitch. Haney said, I told you it was a bitch. Hold on. Hit the oh, wait a minute. My man, the Mino line. I got to start making clips for you, brother. I haven't made it yet. My man, the Mino line, Leo Ramirez. Flex on him. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong. Hey, got on me. Love you, boy. Uh, and for the ladies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. That brother, first of all, he said, love you, boy. Oh, this to me. And then he said, for the Oh, hit the Tyson bell. Uh, let me see. My man, Leo, thank you so much for the $100, brother. That was mad love and support. Thank you so much, brother. I got to make a clip for you, brother. Everyone knows that. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, Haney need a personality. His dad uh, doing uh, most annoying. Well, sometimes it happens like that. Look. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> you you got to be like that. And let me tell you why. <laughs> let me tell you why. Because Devin Haney is focused. Devin Haney is technically sound. Devin Haney does everything right. You can't outdo the Devin Haney. Do the Devin Haney in that fight. Ryan Garcia, you must know by now, after dealing with him six damn times and looking at him, looking at his tape, 
I can't outdo the Devin Haney. Do the Devin Haney. My best bet is to be like, rrr, rrr. that's the best bet. <laughs> you got to be wild, dog. <laughs> Listen, if somebody is better than you this way, just do this shit. Just <laughs> maybe you can throw them off. <laughs> He's right. My Donna, maybe you can throw them off, bruh. Because <laughs> this is not going to work. Devin Haney's going to whip your ass. He's going to take you all 12. So maybe you got to be. Rrr, rrr. That's the only thing. <laughs> Bill Haney and old Timo Lord Jamal looking. At, listen, bro. <laughs> listen. And Devin Haney, he loves to push you. He loves to push you. And what was getting me before, the reason why I wanted to know if Ryan Garcia was scared was because I didn't see Ryan Garcia this cuckoo. When he was about to fight Tank. Maybe he felt people expect me. Listen, it's going to be hard for me to beat Tank anyway. But he ain't trying to lose to Devin. So I thought he was probably scared of, you know, the post-fight results. <laughs> right? Let me see. Uh, look like Ryan's still going to be using his shoulder roll. She, oh, yeah, I saw it. Haney pushed him. Did you see the shoulder roll? We got to look at it again. We got to look at it again. We got to look at it again. <laughs> we got to look at it again. Thank you so much, my brother. Listen, let, let, let's look at it. one more again. Just one more again. This is so Let's go. Hey, I don't even need to You're going to get killed on April 20th. Yeah, for all that disrespect. Watch. You can't stop it now. Yeah. He said, yeah. Yeah, Miss Garcia, you can't stop it now. That was good. That was fun. Okay, he pushed him. He already got him. Yeah, yeah, he already pushed him. Talk to him, Ryan. Good? Talk to him. Hey, you see how I took that? Hey, Ryan, ate that. Hey, Ryan, I ate that. I ate that, bitch. Yeah, bitch. I ate that. I ate that. Ah, I ate that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stop doing cocaine, you bitch. It got real. Yeah, it got real. It got real. It got real. Yeah, it got real. Yeah, it got real. The worst than that gonna happen to you on April 20th. Yeah, and Oscar can't say it. And Oscar can't say it. Worse than that. Yeah, yeah, you took it. And you're gonna eat a lot more before you. Hey, listen, you gonna hit that canvas, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you out of boxing. That's right. Ryan, you ain't ready. ready. Told you we ready. He ain't ready. Hey, he said, I told you he was a bitch. <laughs> Listen, you see Ryan Garcia got a scar on his nose. He looked like something the cat just drug, drug in, right? <laughs> you know what they say? Hey, look at what the cat drug in. Ryan. <laughs> He looks like the personification of look at what the cat drug in. <laughs> Listen, you can't beat the Batman by being the Batman, right? You got to be the Joker. That is Batman's greatest adversary. You got to be the Joker. You got to do things in a way that Batman just doesn't understand. Joker, why do you do that? Because people go crazy. and He does he doesn't have a rhyme or reason. Batman needs reason. He's a detective. Ryan Garcia has no rhyme or reason. Devin Haney needs to know you go left because I threw this. You dip because I do this. Ryan may come out. Hey, hey, hey. You never know. <laughs> and I will be there this Saturday for it. Let me see. Uh, Haney ain't uh, learned his lesson. Push Loma got washed. I thought Loma won. I thought Loma won. Let me see. I don't know uh, karate, but I know crazy. <laughs> you, you better be on that, Ryan. 
You better be on that kind of time. Let me see. If you watch the amateur fights, ride, land, the more significant blows might not be uh, the blowout most. I, I don't think it'd be a blowout. I don't think it'd be a blowout because I think Devin Haney, lack of power is going to give Ryan Garcia uh, opportunities. That's all. Uh, that push, he got a puncher's chance. But it's significant. That push made Ryan go into uh, basic animal instincts. Brother, yeah, he just... Uh, yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm going to tell you, bro. I actually relate to that. That happened to me. I told you. I told you. These guys tried to bully me as a kid. And I was acting like I was an X-Men or some shit. I was, I was, uh, and they were really trying to hurt me. And they said, oh, this guy's crazy. <laughs> I was like eight years old. Like, yeah, come on. I'm Wolverine. Shing! And he, they were just like, okay. <laughs> this this is beyond my pay grade <laughs> let me see let me see oh my man flex on him seep 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 left hand on you left hand on you left hand on you pow king kong ain't got on me he said it's a mess and i love it 100 percent. i love every i want things to be a mess i need chaos I don't need everything to be exactly the same all the damn time. Give me something different. But hold on, DJ. So DJ spin the sound. Let me see, my man, these new boxers, I mean, boxers families uh, be doing too much. I love how uh, Bill Haney, was, first he looked at Ryan Garcia. He was like, what the hell? <laughs> right? Because when he pushed Ryan, Ryan he was like, <laughs> you know, because listen. Listen, I just want to let y'all know something about the black community. We don't. <laughs> we, we don't. We don't do all that. We don't. <laughs> right. If hey, listen, this, they saw me about to get into a fight with a brother. <laughs> do something like that. Come on. I like it like that. Come on. We'll be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill all that out. <laughs> Let me see. He must see. That's what I'm saying. Ryan been hanging with brothers too long. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, it's a mess. Look, yeah, that's right, brother. And thank you so much for flexing on him, my brother. Thank you so much for flexing on him, brother. Let me see. Uh, Haney looks surprised by Ryan's. Uh, <laughs> that rabies dog. I think uh, Ryan has won, won, won the face off. Yeah, that's the best way to turn it into something else. And I'm saying, I don't even think, I think that's how he naturally reacted. And then he calmed down and said it was good. It was fun. I think that, yeah, come on. I think that's him. I think that's Ryan. <laughs> the uh, When he dumbed down and was just like, yeah, that was fun. It was, and tried to play it off. And then he said, I hate it. I, I think that's him. I think that's, I think that's how he reacts to, to, I almost said controversy, adversity. But uh, what do you call that? When when somebody oh what word am I looking for? Oh my God! Well, when somebody is trying to be physical with you, no Diddy, right? When somebody is in your space and somebody try to bully you, I think that's how he responds to being bullied. I think that's his natural response. Let me see. A member for forty two months. Thank you so much. That, to be a fighter, you gotta be a little crazy anyway. So when you look at Ryan and he looks like a Spice Girl. <laughs> Right? He always looking at himself in the mirror. And, you know, he's not a fighter. He's a model. He's a, he's some sort of singer or something. He's an underwear model. Until you see, you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, I figured you had to be. My man hit the Tyson Bell. Hey, look, he did it again. Leo Ramirez, that's my dog. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Listen, Leo, am I lying? Am I lying, brother? <laughs> My man, yeah, Domino line. Am I lying, Leo? <laughs> Let me see. Ryan said he identifies as a woman on Twitter. Uh, that's what I'm saying. All of that shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> All of that. And he says some crazy stuff, and he leaves it up to y'all to decode. There's nothing to decode. He's just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. And he's laughing at everybody's response. Let me see. I think uh, Ryan understands the assignment. That's right. The assignment is just like Derrick James said. We don't want Devin the American Dream Haney. He didn't say the American Dream. But we don't want Devin Haney to be himself. 
We want him to be somebody who knows Devin Haney. Didn't Derry James say something like that on the zone? We don't want him to be Devin Haney. Because if you allow him to be Devin Haney, he's going to whoop our ass. We, he can't. He got to be emotional. Let me see. Uh, FBL, uh, I'm a few points from number one. Who's next? Check. Listen, everybody, go to Fantasy Boxing League, especially for the 5v5. It's going to be lit, too. Uh, for Fury versus Usyk card, and we got this weekend. We got a lot to do on the Fantasy Boxing League. I have. I actually didn't predict last weekend. Uh, is it true uh, the tickets aren't selling? It is true that they had to change the uh, the price. So if you have to change the price, I'm thinking the truth the, the tickets aren't selling or wasn't selling. But the arena's starting to feel now closer to the fight, especially after they're dropping the price. They they did their best at see. This is what happens. All right, you price something at a certain price point, like PS fives for a thousand dollars. You pretend that there's a low supply. Come on, Sony, we know the game, and you priced it out of range. Right, people buy it, and then once people start saying, "Listen, I'd rather just play video games on, or I'd rather play solitaire with some cars," then you drop the price, and then you get people to buy that too. So now you got both the supply and demand curve at the at the bottom and at the top, right? So people bought it for that high price, and you and you cleared them out. And then now you drop the price to finish the tickets, right? So they they actually got both done. That's just business. Let me see. Uh, Ryan knows our secret. Uh, he, he we don't mess with crazy. We don't do that crazy. Shit. We don't do that. We ain't Malik. We we you know what I'm saying we'll just fight if we got to ask what we lost. You know, we, we, I mean we'll talk. We'll talk. And then you step up, man. You know, I'll whoop your ass. Like you know what I'm saying. You know, but we let's go. Hit me again. Hit me harder. We, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey, hold on, hold on. Listen, and all these antics, I thought this was fear from Ryan Garcia. We got the receipts. Check Thanks. this out. This is fake. I'm not really drinking. It's, it's, it, it, uh, I'm acting. You understand? Like, I'm acting. Like, I've got into the role of thinking. I, I want everybody to think that I'm drinking. I'm not drinking. Like, it's hilarious. I'm not drinking. It, it, I'm definitely not drinking. I'm not doing anything. This is, I'm taking this role a little too serious. It's like, you know, Heath Ledger, he, he took the role of Joker. It's a little too serious. But I would never uh, delete myself ever in my life. God is king. Jesus is king. Jesus is the king of kings. I guarantee you, Wallahi, I promise you, I promise you, I'm knocking Ryan out. Good. Good. All right, well, y'all already didn't heard it. They're going to see, and, they gonna you see know, the world's going to see that I'm, I'm levels above this dude. Like I said, he's a C level fighter. I'm an A plus fighter, and I'm gonna show it. NGQ, doing what I do. All white, looking nice. Okay, come through. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking the fight serious or not. For Haney, watch your ears. Ryan's gonna make you mad. Yeah, listen, listen, Haney. Yeah, Haney, just show up with. Hey, no, -uh. watch. Get out. Watch. Get out. Remember when the brother scratched the stuffing out of? The... <laughs> I'm telling you, and he put and he put the cotton in his ears. Be on that shit, cause Ryan Garcia is trying to hit that little teacup. No, nah, brother. Brother, stay on, stay on your square. Just shoot the jab, pop, pop. Just stay on your shit. He already said he got into the role too deep, like Heath Ledger, right? He done, he done spun out control. So, brother, just pop, pop. Obviously, he can't do rules. So, in that fight, Devin, I want you to make the rules and stick to it. Pop, swim without getting wet. Pop, one. Two, while Ryan Garcia is trying to say X, G, dog, race car, bro, 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> and that's the black two shook. <laughs> you make the rules in that piece, brother. Don't <laughs> let me see. Uh, it would be a lot closer fight uh, that uh, people would think I got Ryan by KO. I'll, I'll say, look, okay, here, here. <laughs> Here, yeah, let me. <clears throat> so I Bill Haney looked like the Wiz Lion. Oh my God! Oh brother, look, 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 look. Twins, <laughs> twins, <laughs> twins. But here's the thing, though. You never know. Ryan may get Devin Haney wild, and then Ryan just like, mm -hmm, just shoot the jab. Shoot the jab and then step back. back bam! <laughs> Devin Haney does that that jittery leg shit, and it's like, no, Devin, what were you doing? He baited you and you. Now you over here, and he just. It was like, brother, don't let him do that, cause Ryan got one thing. Yeah, that's two. Ryan got one thing. That back foot. And his speed, accuracy, and power. So that's more than one thing. But I'm saying it's like a thing where he just back foot, back foot. And yo, you got to try to get him at some point because he'll back foot you and beat you all around. Back foot. Back, and don't look at Tago. Don't look at Tank Davis. All right. Both of those was under Gooseman. Go, that's the Gooseman approach. Erase those two fights. Back foot. Back foot. Whoop, bam. Brother. <laughs> That's what he has. So, Devin, don't go crazy. <laughs> don't have him get you out the box, bro. Let me see. Uh, do the Diddy, uh, Haney. Do the Diddy. Haney. See? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. We got a lot. We got. We have a lot to discuss today, but I'm having fun uh, with, with Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney right now. We have a lot to discuss. Hold on. Let, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> uh, Bill funny as F, but lame at the same time. Well, yeah, somebody said that Ryan Garcia was a diva, that he loves attention. Number one, this is a business, and it needs attention. I got a taco hat on my head. Ah! Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> it's a business. You need attention. That's the thing. When people talk about, you know, people clickbaiting and shit like that. Listen, bro. Sometimes these guys, you got to clickbait <laughs> because maybe you have some great content and nobody's just going to go to it. You got to get them there. Right. So you got to put I don't something. So that's the point. Get attention, get attention. And then once everybody buy the fight, make sure the fight's good. If you're going to click some clickbait somebody when they get in the damn video, you better make sure that video is good, bro. Don't just click bait and then just sit there and talk. Make sure the video is good. I'm, I'm just giving you a little look, just a little heads up, a little bit of advice. All right. Cause we got 1700 people in here. Let me see. Uh, why did Ryan ask, uh, Devin, uh, where's your mama? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to tell you this. Mama Garcia, what she was saying, what was she saying again? Hercules, Her Hercules. What was she saying? The 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 best the best the warrior some she was saying what hold on what the hell was she saying hold on let me see let me see hey, you gonna what's up mama you gonna what's up mama bitch yeah Ryan <laughs> ah yeah, Ryan warrior that's what she was saying she's crazy I'm sorry Ryan to call your mama crazy but she obviously loves combat her kid got pushed in the face and she like what. Right? And Bill Haney's looking at everybody like, what the hell? Whoa, yes! You pushed my son in the face. Hercules! And then you look and see Ryan, ah, and it's like, what the hell? <laughs> right? What the hell? That's why, that's why I'm saying, bro, we don't, we don't do that crazy shit. We'll, we'll do it. He was just looking, bro. Look at him. Watch, watch his face. 
Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch his face. Let's go. Brother, I'm telling you, I feel him. I feel that brother. That brother was like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so listen, listen. Next time you see some brothers, <laughs> you about to get into a fight. <laughs> Just like, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, cuz, you go ahead, brother. <laughs> you, you go ahead, dog. You I, Obviously, you taking this shit too far. <laughs> you go ahead, dog. <laughs> you go ahead. But listen, listen, listen. We got some, we got some more stuff to talk about. And all right, all right, shit room. Let me tell you, that five versus five card is a UFC level card. The difference is you boxing fans are too stupid to realize it. UFC fans are more educated on their fighters, which is why when UFC has a stacked card, we know it's a stacked card. You boxing fans not even talking about the five versus five, which is a completely stacked card. The type of card that would be praised by UFC fans when UFC has cards like this. Boxing fans only know about five fighters, and that's Canelo Alvarez, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, you UK boxing morons may know about Anthony Joshua. And lastly, Tyson Fury. Yeah, there's a few of you softies out there crying and whining about Terrence Bud Crawford and maybe Devin Haney. But that's not most of the boxing fans. Which is why y'all constantly say the best should fight the best. But wouldn't know what the best versus the best would look like. What y'all really mean is the popular versus the popular. Uh, all right, shit room. Goodbye. I actually messed with it. <laughs> okay, okay. Lifeless. We, me and Lifeless, we hate each other. But I, that that one, yeah, yeah. You ain't gotta call it shit room and shit business. But that that. That wasn't bad, <laughs> Tyson Bell. That wasn't bad. Hold on. Let me see what y'all have to say. I mean, you ain't got to cut me off either. You could always ask to join to join the show. Dr. King tried to love some vibe. Biz, did you see the five versus five, bro? Yeah, we played at the beginning. Turkey Allah Sheik, the face of boxing, his excellency. Pumped for next fights. I mean, next sats uh, fight too. Uh-huh. You're a legend, Biz. No, you are my brother. Hit the Tyson Bell. Yeah. Turkey Al is is he's the truth in what he's doing. That 5v5 is crazy. We're talking about that now. Ryan was the one quiet kid in the class. Don't mess with him. Yeah, that brother brought a, a knife. You, you know what I mean? Remember those? You just he got a knife in his locker. It's like, and he's quiet. He just real like emo and walking down the hallway. It's like, hey, yo, the tall boots and shit. Like, you know what I mean? You can he got new scars on his face because I don't know, been fighting his parents or something. He just come in quiet as hey, brother. That's Garcia. Let me, that's Ryan. Uh, five versus five is 100% stack card. Yep, you can't win with boxing fans. I hope Turkey doesn't see uh, the boxing fans' lack of gratitude. Nah, nah, listen, Dr. King, we're going to show up and show out starting right now with that 5v5. All right, I want to say this. I don't know who's going to get the best of who between Match Room and Queensbury. I don't know. But I'll tell you this, though. I know who is going to get his ass whipped, and that's Ammo Williams. Ammo Williams about to get his ass whipped. <laughs> Y'all saw who he's fighting? Have, have, when last time you watched the Ammo Williams fight? He about to get his ass whipped. Two. Raymond Ford. Nick Ball. Nick the Wrecking Ball is my favorite fighter right now. And I don't do favorites. But Nick the Wrecking Ball is my favorite fighter right now. I got Raymond Ford. <laughs> I do. I do. After he put on that against Adebeck, that fight of the year, and yep, fight of the year. Because I don't see anything surpassing that. That is a rocky movie if I ever seen one. 
Raymond four, and he called out Nick the Wrecking Ball after the Vargas fight. He was, he was like, I'll fight him with his crazy ass. I, I, I'll fight him. <laughs> right? Everybody looked at that fight was like, shit. <laughs> he was like, I, I'll fight him. So I got Raymond. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> obviously he got he he got issues. <laughs> that brother, <laughs> let me see. Uh, Dr. King tried to love somebody uh, for my USA people that don't know the five e five promo. Oh yeah, it was based off the film Lock, Stock, and, and Two Barrels. Yeah, that's why I said the same guys who made Snatching Them. Uh, wait, is that the same guys? Yeah, I think so. Uh, best promo I've ever seen. Yeah, that that is probably the best promo I've ever seen. That's is sick. It's over uh for Dev if he loses. LOL. Ryan took Duarte's best shot, brother. That's what I'm saying. I think Duarte would have given Devin Haney some issues because you had to really smack Duarte in the mouth, and that's what Ryan Garcia did. He knocked that that wisdom tooth out. But the thing is, styles make fights. Duarte's style is nothing like Haney. Like it's hard. It's hard when somebody is beating you here, bro. I'm li okay. Listen, I know I got money on Ryan Garcia. But that's because of the odds. And I know, like I said, me and Ryan Garcia, we cool. But me and the Haney's cool, too. You know, I'm not looking forward to any one of them losing the fight. I, I, I would love, I mean, both of them, any of them winning. But the other one losing is how I felt about Crawford and Errol Spence. I told you, if one of them get knocked out, I'm going to have tear. And y'all saw my reaction. I was like, stop the fight. Stop the fight. My lip was quivering and everything. Right? So what, I, don't, I don't want either, either one of my brothers to lose. Right? But it is what it is. And like I said, it's very hard when somebody is beating you here. Is it is that's why you gotta not have you got you can't have this. That's why Ryan Garcia doesn't have this at this point. He's just like, you know what? This is a wrap. So let me grab this. <laughs> grab <it>. Savage Hulk. <laughs> Savage Hulk. No, no banner. Let me see. Let me see what y'all have to say. Cause you ain't gonna be able to outwit them. Uh, Biz, you're right. Uh, boxing needs more love like UFC fans. 100%. It just needs for us to know. But that's okay. We're doing our job here. Uh, UFC fans love their Warriors. Look at Max fight. Even though Justin Gaethje lost, uh, they still they will still uh, want to see him fight. Yep. Boxing needs to learn that uh, love is sport. That's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just a war. I had somebody in my comments yesterday say, show Biz, you're not being serious enough. Serious? I've never been that serious. I'm passionate, but I've never been that serious when it came to boxing. Because my memory of boxing is me, my uncles, you know, my brothers, my mom, family over, cousins, people talking shit, drinking. And there's nothing serious that I can even recall coming up. We just like, yeah, yeah, we were never, you know, like serious. Like, you know what I mean? So that's why. I kick it on fight night. I have a ball. We used to roast the referee, roast the people in the crowd, roast each other. Look at your shoes. Slap box in the middle of the living room. Everybody's taking things so damn seriously. You got to enjoy them. If they don't have to be undefeated, just put on a great fight. And we'll love you more. The more fights you put on that's great, we'll love you more. Ryan Garcia is going to be fine if he loses to Devin Haney. Devin Haney is going to be fine if he loses to Ryan Garcia. Teofimo Lopez is fine. Right? He done had his losses. Well, a loss, but the other one should have been lost, Sandor Martin. But I'm just saying, hit the Tyson bet. Just if we know we can trust you to entertain us, I'm fine. That's why people got me twisted when it comes to Terrence Bud Crawford. And you hate him because you want to see him fight. No, I like seeing fights. I don't hate him because I want to see him fight. You want to see a fight, Boots. You must really like Errol. Huh? I just want to see fights. Errol, get in the ring. Boots, get in the ring. I, I just want to see fights, bro. <laughs> I'd rather see fights. I'm not into them as people. I into, I'm into them as fighters. Let me see. Campbell, who, who ain't a puncher uh, had Ryan on Bambi legs? Yeah, but that was one hell of a punch, right? Like Lenara is hitting Devin Haney. If Devin Haney leaned back and Campbell punched him, he would have dropped his ass. And, and stop saying professional fighters. Campbell's Olympian. Campbell, that punch would have dropped anybody. And the thing is, it dropped him, but it didn't keep him down. He was leaning straight back. You're going to, that's not a lack of chin. That's a lack of discipline. 
but it's hard for you to understand the difference. It's hard for you. I, but that's something. Just stick, stick around and come. Just keep coming by. You'll get it. Uh, no amount of skill can prepare you for that type of mindset unless you've been there yourself. Uh, all I'm saying is Haney better uh, be on his capital P's and Q's. Yeah, well, he got he got a, he got hurt with that overhand right that he's practicing. He got to catch him with that and make Ryan think. You can make a crazy person think. You can make a crazy person. Yeah, now you want to be sane, right? Just you got to smack him in the mouth, right? Let me see. Uh, Salate, will Bill Haney sound like Doc Rivers eating peanut butter on Popeye's biscuits? Come on, man. No drink. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dry, that's that's called dry mouthedness. <laughs> Thick mouth. No diddy. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dr. King tried to love somebody. The reason I subscribed seven months ago is because I saw you praise and constructively criticize Crawford in the space of a few weeks. Thanks, brother. Uh, made me realize you were not a fanboy channel, but a real one. 100%. 100 percent i i tell I, you know i, I i'm we're gonna move on to the 5v5 but just to end this point you know there's a narrative going around that i'm an aerosexual brother i no matter how much i say it Errol Spence loss doesn't deserve a rematch got his ass whooped terrence crawford is better even if you know, fractured ribs or not i saw enough terrence crawford would have beaten him anyway terrence crawford would beat him at any weight class i've said that but people are like, you only want him to fight boots because you like, like, I like them all. <laughs> I just want to see fights. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, who's more technically class, Ryan or Victor Ortiz? I, Ryan was at one point. I got to see if he is again because he was at one point. Uh, in other words, who's a better golden boy? <laughs> Oh, oh, Victor, I'm thinking of, I keep getting them mixed up. Vic, no, Victor Ortiz is more technically, yeah, 100%, my bad. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about uh, this uh, 5v5, and let's talk about that Wilder and Zang. Who you guys got? Well, please. Please, Boxing is is it's straight, strictly a business. It's not a sport for me. I always say the business of boxing, and that's what it is. Accordingly, we risk our lives for you guys' entertainment, and here I am again. <laughs> I'm not playing around this time. I have nothing to lose. I feel like I've lost a lot of things in my life, even some of the closest people in my life. So I don't feel like I have nothing else to lose, but only to gain. And this fight, we're going to tell, we're going to see. It's enough of the talking. I even told my team, I don't want to hear how good I look, how I am, this and this. I'm not going to even be posting too much this time around because I mean business. I can feel the desire and the sensation in my heart again. That hunger, that monster, that beast is coming back. The pain that I've endured over these last years, it's going to be, it's, 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 it's. Keep going. Hold on, I forgot I did that. <laughs> I forgot I did that because I, I didn't know why he was like, I, I didn't know why. <laughs> but it reminded me of that. So, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. All right, listen. 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 I don't know who wins between Zang and Wilder. I know I'm going to put money on the under I'm, I'm i don't think it's lasted past five rounds they both can knock you out like this so i i, I really don't right either wilder i may got wilder but if he gets to wilder before wilder gets to him if he blocks that right and land up I, I i can't really tell i have no clue but what i can say is one it's so funny that wilder 
is with Eddie Hearn right now. And we heard Eddie Hearn like, what do you say? I don't rate Wilder. <laughs> Against Joseph Park, he was like, I don't rate Wilder. Like, he, he's, he's shit, right? <laughs> right? Now, he got a cap for him. Now, Eddie Hearn got to be like, Deontay Wilder, the best in the business, right? Because he's his promoter now. But my thing is, with that said, with that said, if Wilder beats Zane, we better get Wilder versus Joshua, right? We better. There ain't no, now that they're friends, now that Wilder and Eddie Hearn is cool, and business partners, we better get Joshua versus Wilder, right? Turkey Alashi, His Excellency. I know that's in the plans, right? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, will you? Maria! Hey, 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 hey. Wilder, 100, 100. He got rid of uh, that bang. Yeah, he had to get rid of the bang. And get that. Perfect. He may be back. You got to shave the bang. Or... It took his power away like Keith one time. Right? Because I thought, oh, Keith took the ponytail. He's real now. He still couldn't punch through a wet paper bag. <laughs> Body's still a chandelier. <laughs> He's injured now. So, you know, sometimes I'm happy he cut it, though. Listen, brothers, don't keep your dress and stuff too long. Though that hairline going to pull back. Or you're going to have some dead hair that you don't realize. And when you cut it off, you're going to have a sunroof at the top. Just saying. I've seen it a million times. Uh, let me see what you have to say. Uh, go, DJ. Uh, that's my DJ. Uh, some uh, Some's like Tarva, uh, all that uh, damn pre. Yeah, I know. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, do you say sound? Oh, okay. Sounds like talk. Listen, listen, brother. Listen, brother. When I listen to Deontay Wilder talk, I don't know if I want to roll my eyes or laugh. I don't know which one it is. Because he's always like, I've been to the mountaintop. And I just want y'all to know tonight that we as a people can get to the promised land. It's like, hey, brother, listen. Listen, brother. <laughs> Are we talking about boxing? Are we <laughs> be judged by the content of their character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, 1.7 thousand show biz business supporters watching on taco or on a tuesday uh during work hours yeah this community is amazing they're growing strong every day yeah uh show this body this this community is, is is insanely sick and listen listen we gonna listen and everybody did y'all hit the like make sure <laughs> yeah w i'm trying to do my damn job make sure we hit the like uh, uh let me see uh hope a uh, wilder and uh and win this fight uh, now he's looking like Joshua did when he lost, right, his belts uh, to Andy. Yeah, right. And lost back to, to back against Usyk. He just ain't. The, yeah. But the thing is, at least Joshua lost it when he was young enough to bounce back. Wilder is like 40. Right. So it's rough. And I, and Wilder said he didn't have too many more fights after this. Let me see. Devin falling forward. Uh, he's getting to Devin head. You think so? I'll tell you what. Devin's trying to be great. He's trying to be great, bro. When you listen to Devin talk, Devin is talking about legacy. He ain't talking about money or nothing like that. He's talking about leaving a legacy for his kids, for boxing, and everything else, for his kids, kids, the Devin Haney name. All right. So if he's if he's staying that solid and that spiritually sound, Ryan will, won't get to him. But there's still human instincts. And some people just piss you off. I'm pretty sure Haney now, when he looks at his face, it's like your face, your face, bro. I can't wait to just just rearrange them shits. But the thing is, when you have that energy, you'll mess around and get slapped. So, I, it, yo, we'll find out. Let me see. Deontay Luther King Jr. <laughs> Deont Deontay Luther the King. Let me see. Crawford is Hagler. Hearns combined. Tank equal Joe Gans. This man said Crawford is Hagler and Hearns combined. Brother, yo, you know, the gawk. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. The gawk. Granny, don't. Good God, I'm boys. I'm boys. Yes, I am. Let me see. Flight Joe Gans. Tank ain't no damn Joe Gans. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, brother, don't you ever, don't any of y'all ever compare a Tank to Joe, a hey, Tank, love you, boy, but Joe Gans is superhero level boxing. Let, get, it, get that shit out of here for the rest of your life. Let me flex on him. <laughs> seep, 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 left hand on you. 
Left hand on you, left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me them jab steps in the intro. Uh, but uh, would like to hear your take on hip hop beef whenever you feel no pressure. Back to boxing, yeah, absolutely, brother. I did some of it on Instagram, you gotta check it out. Let me see. But thanks, brother, for just the love and just the, that was really just a support super chat. So thank you so much. I see you, bro. Uh, Ryan looks better and better. Uh, coming fight night. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I was saying about his media workout that he hit. He hit his stride at the right time. But Devin may be too. I think Devin was like this and then he plateaued. But now I think he, you know, with that push and everything, like, I think he's back. I, they, they, bought, they both did it their way, but I think they're vibrating high at the same time at the end of the day. Let me see. Forget to talk. Uh, he need to uh, start cool. Oh, he needs to start cool. Yeah. Yeah, stay cool head and just box. That's what I'm saying. Make Ryan Garcia fit in his square. If Devin wins, it makes uh the tank fight bigger. I don't I don't know if tank well, no, tank probably will fight Devin. Don't listen to litter smeller me. All right. The, the guy, listen, bro. He he he's gonna say everything to make you not make you not demand something out of tank. But he always says that Tank is the boss. So don't listen. Like when it comes to Tank, you can't really listen to Leonard because Leonard's going to say whatever to get you off of Tank's back. But tomorrow, you know, if you listen to Tank, Tank is like, I'll whoop Devin's ass and I've always whipped his ass. But Leonard will be like, he's really 135, 130. So you won't even ask him about Devin. Right. But you ask Tank. So you may be right. Tank, Tank, yeah, yeah, Tank versus Devin, it, it makes the fight bigger, 100%. Makes the fight bigger, 100%. If Ryan wins, it does make you think about Devin Haney's career. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, damn, the first time you fought like a real one who's prime. <laughs> but that wouldn't, that wouldn't really be the case because Devin Haney only lost eight times in amateurs and three by the hands of Ryan Garcia. So maybe Ryan is just, he just knows him. You know, when you go up against somebody a million damn times, y'all just know each other. Y'all just know each other. Sugar Ray Robinson fought Jake LaMotta six damn times. What did Jake LaMotta say? He fought Sugar so much he had diabetes. The guy is like, yo, at this point, we know, we just know each other, bro. But it's been a while. It's been a while. Let me see. Uh, Ryan Duran, Devin Sugar Ray. That's why Ray lost. Uh-uh. If anything, if you want to do that, It'll be Ryan Hearns, Devin Sugar Ray. You got to ask yourself, though, when it came to Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray had to become a dog to beat Hearns. Does Devin have that dog in him or, or is he too safe? If Devin's just being too safe and not trying to hurt Ryan, he's going to give Ryan many chances to knock him out. I keep saying this. So he has to be right, but he can't just be safe. You Watch Floyd over and over and over again. Floyd was technically sound. He was safe, but he was smacking you. He was smacking. I'm telling you, bro. Floyd was, look at him versus Kodo. Floyd was smacking you for sure. He wasn't punching you, though. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. He, but he was, he'll catch you with some stiff, some stiff ones. No, did he? Uh, Wilder's legs uh, aren't moist. Uh, old beef jerky leg. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Blueprint is there to beat Haney. Architect needed. Blueprint is there to beat Haney. Architect. Oh, an architect is needed. Uh, Leonard Ellerby, uh, the nose of boxing. Yeah, he knows boxing, bro. He knows it all, bro. He knows it all. Oh, Diddy uh, should be referee or a judge. Stop. Okay, stop. Listen, check out what Eddie Hearn had to say about the 5v5. And, and, and particularly check him out what he said about Wild, Wilder. Because you just heard him say Wilder's last fight that he doesn't rate him. But check this out. Team, not just my team, the A team. The man to my right, Philip Hergovic, one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the world. That's why they call him El Animal. About to take Daniel Dubois to school in Riyadh. Stop him in the mid to late rounds. The man to his left and the captain of the matchroom team, the one and only Bronze Bomber, one of the most dangerous men in the heavyweight division. And when I saw him in the hotel early today, I saw a look in the eyes to say, this man is back with bad intentions. Will destroy Zile Zhang inside three rounds. Here, Raymond Ford, the best 126 pounder in the world, 25 years of age, Camden, New Jersey. Nick Ball, we love him. 
non-stop relentless pressure. Gonna get taken to school, picked apart and stopped late on. Spider, my big pick in the light heavyweight division. I think this is a guaranteed win. Willie Hutchinson gonna bring the pressure, bring the heart, but this guy with a long reach under Shane McGuigan gonna take him out and stop him late. And as for Ammo Williams, I know they like Hamza Shiraz. I know he's their big pick. This guy is about to show you why he's one of the most ferocious fighters to come out of America in a long time. Austin Ammo Williams to knock out Hamza Shiraz and book his place to fight for the WBC middleweight championship. This is Team Matrim. We're out. June 1st. It's a whitewash, baby. Come on. Ammo over here looking like a go bot or some shit, right? Looking like a, a auto bot or something. <laughs> Listen, that spider versus Hutchinson, I don't know. That fight, I don't, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The thing about Spider is I like his resume more, though he took his ass whippings from like Bevel and Watsi and stuff like that. But I, I like his resume more, though he lost. I like I just like his experience more. But I don't know who wins that. Uh did he share up? Oh, dang, I can't believe I read that again. That's uh, uh no, I'm saying Duran disrespected Ray. Oh, so much that he got caught. Oh, in a brawl in a first. You're right. Hold on, hold on. That's what that's what I get. Always trying to correct somebody. <laughs> no, nah, what it really is. No, nah, let me tell you what this brother meant. Hold on, let me give myself this right here. That comment was dumb. Yeah, that was for me. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, hey, y'all, uh, come uh, donate to Sadate. Go fund me. We trying to send him to Turkey for that transplant. Floyd got. Come on, man. <laughs> Roll out. Uh, I don't like the way Ambo's glasses fits. Yeah, I know, man. That dude looked like he just got off of a moped or <laughs> or some shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, before we move on, because we got some Twitter fingers, we've gone past the hour already, so don't worry about the time. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. We got some breaking news, and we got some other stuff to discuss. But before we get into that, let's talk about the mm, knockout. Wendy Peppercorn. Mm. Uh, knockout. Holloway shows some mortality. Look at this. Holloway just told him. See right here. So I can write a better way Life is a fixed game I found a better way to play Yeah, once again it's on I'm on my second win Niggas say I'm reborn Let's go, yeah Once again it's on I'm on my second win Niggas say I'm reborn Alright, yeah Once again it's on I'm on my second win Niggas say I'm reborn Let's go, yeah Once again it's on I'm on my second yeah. win Niggas say I'm reborn Thug life, thug life That's my problem Knockout. Hit the Tyson Bell. Let's go. Matt Halloway says, stand right here to Justin Gaethje. We're going to stand right here. What did Gaethje do? Certainly. Hit the Tyson Bell. And they threw theirs. <laughs> Last two seconds of the fight. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, for you guys asking the name of the song, the song is called Reborn from my group, me and Black Sun. That's Showbiz and Black Sun. It's called Black Business. That's our group name, Black Business. We have an album coming out. Reborn is one of the singles from the album. But that album isn't coming out for a while. I just wanted to leak something real quick. Uh, let me see. No diddy. Uh, let me see. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, 
talk about Alex Pereira left. Yeah, that hooker cut, dog. We after the push, yeah, the referee, yeah, he got kicked in the nuts, like ping. And then he was like, "Listen, bro, now I'm pissed." <laughs> he told her, 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 "Now I'm pissed." Oh, uh, let me see. And left a uh, hook, boom, KO. Uh, then did the uh, is this your man's? Yeah, that. Listen, bro, I did that video. You got to check it out, brother. I explained all that. Let me see. Crawford will KO boots round four. Ryan KOs Devin round seven. Damn. That's a take for your ass, ain't it? <laughs> no daddy. Let me see. Maria. Eh, 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 eh. I'm scared of anyone uh, that fights in the jeans. <laughs> Yo, I need to watch that. You want to talk about going back to, to boxing for real. That's boxing. Hit the Tyson Bell. Okay, listen, let's move on. We have uh we have an announcement from Jake Paul. Here's the receipts. Check it out. So as you guys saw, my brother broke the news of him having a baby. So what better time for me to make my own announcement? Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano, the rematch as the co-main event of me versus Mike Tyson, July 20th. Dallas, Texas, this event just got bigger. Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano. Huge event. It's going to be huge. Katie Taylor. It's going to be huge. <laughs> but listen, I don't know why he sounded like Katie Taylor. But listen, that's a crazy, that's a crazy event. On Netflix? <laughs> On Netflix? For the free? That's getting to the bag, ain't it? <laughs> that rematch, Katie, Kaylee Taylor versus Amanda Serrano is going to be lit. <laughs> Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> On the undercard? Netflix? Y'all watching that. Y'all watching that. Shut up. Every, everybody will say, yeah, I ain't going to watch it. Shut up. If you got Netflix, you're watching it. You're going to go to Netflix, and you're going to see Katie Taylor. You're going to see Mike Tyson, and you're going to see the thumbnail in the corner for no money. All you got to do is click on it. Don't try to. I'm not going to watch. You're going to be right there with everybody else, bro. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Ryan Garcia, Rap Battle versus Showbiz. He got me, dog. He got me, dog. Better boss. Uh, let me see. Soon as Boots goes to 54, Dev will go to 47. Why do you say that? I don't want I don't want Dev to leave without fighting uh Tank though. You know, um I don't there's a lot of shit to do, bro. Did Shakur? Man, I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with boots. I think there's some shit to do. Uh rollout Diddy was about to give y'all the black business. I know you you guys dodge a bullet, brother. I'm telling you, bro. Yo, we were happy too. Bad boy, you should have seen us in New York. Hey, Prime, we are bad boy. Now I'm like, woo. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Hold on. I used to regret that shit. Hold on. Okay. Last video before the Twitter find us. Since we're talking about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Did y'all see Mike Tyson racing? Did you see him sprint? Mike Tyson sprint looks like a pit bull off the leash. <laughs> Did y'all see it? His sprint looks like a foaming pit bull off the leash. Check it out. Listen, Mike, listen, four words, Mike, four words. Don't whoop my ass. <laughs> I like, I like my ass in the condition it's in. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> four words, Mike, when I see you, dog, four words. Don't whoop my ass. <laughs> but you can't tell me, Team Tyson, listen. 
Listen, are you Billy White? Are you here? Listen, you can't tell me that wasn't funny, dog. <laughs> Play that again. I got you, dog. <laughs> no pun. I got you. <laughs> I'm putting that shit on Instagram, dog. <laughs> hey, you got that running after you. That's like some some 28 days later shit, ain't it? <laughs> what's, what's it called? 28 days later? That's like some of that shit, ain't it? <laughs> I, hey, dog. Hey, dog. Mike would clear the room. Mike Sprinton would clear the room, bro. <laughs> he is li uh, listen. Other than better BF right now, other than and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, including better BF. Mike Tyson got to be the scariest man on walking the earth, ain't he? <laughs> I'm, I'm voting Mike Tyson as the scariest man walking the earth. <laughs> All he did was sprint. If I sprint it, people won't react like that. <laughs> Mike will clear a damn room. Okay, let's do the Twitter figures real quick. Let's do the Twitter figures, and then we out of here. Let's do the X-Files. Here we go. Twitter figures. Cheese. His name is Cheese. It's Cheese, snitches. X-Files, mother... Okay. Jared Anderson. Jared Anderson <laughs> has welcomed a call out from Louis uh, King Kong, uh, <laughs> Louise King Kong Ortiz, uh, for his next fight. Is he? Is he still? Is he still fighting? Is he still fighting, dog? Is King Kong still fighting, dog? <laughs> For real, dog. That that Jared Anderson don't. I mean, I guess everyone does that. I right. I guess everyone does that. You know, he mess around, fight Larry Holmes or some shit. You know what I mean? Like just Shannon Briggs fight George Foreman. Like you know what I mean? Everybody kind of does that. You know, when they're kind of like coming up, they whoop some old dude. <laughs> Get him his last paycheck. It's like a change of, of the guard. So I guess, I don't know, dog. I, I'm not really, fight Rodriguez. Or I'm not really, I'm not into it. Here we go. The WBC have created a new special belt, which will be awarded to the winner of Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk on May 18th. We got to start hyping that fight, ladies and gentlemen. We got to start hyping that. Uh so WBC made a new belt. They make they make belts like nobody business. Yeah. They're like a men's warehouse or some shit. They make belts. Pretty cool. I, I can't hate on it. It's pretty cool, dog. I can't hate on it. Hit the Tyson Bell. Ah, this picture came out today. If that doesn't smell like Wilder versus Joshua next. Wilder, you just gotta beat Zang. If you listen at this point, if you don't beat Zang, you duck Joshua. <laughs> Cause you almost had a Joshua fight with Joseph Parker. If you don't beat Zang, brother, that was two attempts. You duck, you duck, duck. Can, can we can we bring back the they've uh taken the animal out of you? Yes, we can. Uh dropped for the better BFI. Yep. Uh what was my favorite drop? That was my favorite drop. Yep. We gotta do we gotta. We gotta bring because I just played that for one of my boys. One one of my boys was feeling a certain way about breaking up with his girl, or something like that. But he was like, "Man, dog, you know, I just feel like." So I sent him that cartoon. <laughs> they taking the animal out of you, dog. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? I just feel 
that dude. I was just like, brother, here, 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 Katie Taylor will defend her undisputed WBA, WBC, IBF, WBL, super lightweight world titles in a rematch versus Amanda Serrano uh, on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson on the card July 20th in Texas. Here, here, let me tell you. We already covered that. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's, it's still, it's amazing. Let me tell you real quick. Uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul want that to be a pro fight. My thing is, let them do it. If Mike Tyson pass all the tests and there's no headgear and and, and y'all want a winner because exhibitions got draws and y'all want a draw. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go. And y'all want a winner. And let them let them do it. Yeah. I mean, ain't no skin off my teeth. If Mike Tyson has another L, you know, I don't think Mike Tyson would want it. I'm talking about me. I already know he's 58. You know, if Jake Paul wanted to have a KO loss on his record, that I mean, they, they, they're trying to compete. That's what, Let them do it. What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah, I'm, I'm with my man, EQ. He said, let them do it. <laughs> what difference does it make? Y'all want to do that shit? Yeah. Go ahead. I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to watch it anyway, but I'll definitely watch it now. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I got some cash apps. My bad, y'all. Damn. I got two cash apps. Hold on. Before I go, I got to read these cash apps. Oh, first, both from the same guy. Um, uh, Alberto. Uh, for Big Zane versus Big Tank. Oh, equal. Uh, Sadate versus Charles Pick. That is, that is funny. Uh, for Bill Haney, uh, should have been serious when B-Hop pushed him. Oh. That part. That part. Bill Haney didn't look that serious when B Hop pushed him. That's a good one. That Alberto, you got me. That, that was a really good one. That was a really good one right there. That was a really good one. Honestly, though, I didn't even like the B Hop push. That shoulder thing to the side, and then he walked away. And I just I thought it was sneaky anyway. I just thought all I thought all of it was Fugazi. I just thought it was. Why didn't why didn't Beehop push him when they were face to face? Why did he wait till he was sideways? And and I know Beehop's a fighter and he's been to jail either. I'm not questioning his thug. We know he's full of thug. Okay. No diddy. But I'm just saying, why that? If you don't mean it, don't mean it. Why didn't you push him when y'all were face to face arguing? Hey, let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. No diddy, bro. Hey, why don't we go to the bathroom? And then they you know, all of it was. Let me see. Uh no theory uh say oh no nah, mike is 58 well then he shouldn't fight if he if he's fighting and we're not no theory if he's fighting and we're not i think he should fight the way he wants we're not fighting he's fighting y'all y'all both wanted that way that's on y'all i'm not taking one punch i'm gonna be eating food calling the fight having a good time if i'm not there i'm gonna be chill all right, everybody, those were the X-Files. Hold on. Hold on. Those were the X-Files. Twitter fingers. Cheese. His name is Cheese. It's Cheese, snitches. X-Files, mother... <laughs> he finna get, get a heart attack. Nah, the way he's training, if he doesn't catch a heart attack now, he won't catch one. Because the way he's, you heard, you saw him running. Rawr, 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 rawr. And that brother, he, he's fine. I'm telling you, y'all y'all think Mike Tyson's a regular 58-year-old man. No, he's not. He's different. I've been trying. He was, he was 58 when he was 13. Only thing that happened is that he finally caught up with his age. <laughs> Have you seen him at 13 with Harry Knuckles? And he's, something's up. He's, di he's made different. The guy is built to last. The dude done drank everything, smoked, snorted everything. And he's still, rawr, 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 rawr. he's just built to last, bro. He just finally caught up with his number. <laughs> so thank you guys for showing up and showing out. Show biz adult. I'm out. Huh. Oh, tomorrow we have the hump day. Video Thursday. The facts Friday. 
We're going to be calling Ryan Garcia versus Devin the American Dream Haney. We're going to be calling that fight for 12 hours starting at 10 a.m. So everybody make sure that you're there. We out.